Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tanisha Davis, this is Fun and Budget, and in this video, we are gonna talk about our mortgage update, okay? Yay! Guys, obviously, I'm on a mission to pay off this good home. This house was over $600,000 when I first purchased it. I did get some builder discounts and things like that. And so I believe I financed about $530,000 for this home, okay? I have been on a journey for the last few years. I don't even know how many years. But I've been on this journey to pay this house off sooner rather than later. Why? Because the idea of working a job and having that money have no obligations, no commitments really excites me. I want to get rid of this mortgage because it is also part of my ultimate retirement plan to not have that overhead, okay? So the last time we did this video was in November of 2022, and then I owed a balance of $198,000, hold up, $198,000 and $79. Yeah, something like that. That's what I owed. So now we're going to see what do I owe on this home now, okay? Let's take a look at the November payments. In November of 2022, I made my regular mortgage payment of $1,536. And of that, $371 went to interest, and $1,164 went to principal. I then made an extra payment of $1,500. Now that is really low for me, the $1,500 extra, but that is because December is Christmas and I usually use a lot of my excess money for buying Christmas gifts and just living my best life at the end of the year, okay? <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, okay? Now let's take a look at January. In January 2023, I made my regular payment of $1,536. Of that, $366 went to interest and $1,169 went to the principal. I then made an extra principal only payment of $4,452. February, I made my regular payment of $1,536. Of that, $356 went to interest and $1,180 went to the principal. I then made an extra principal only, and I'm stressing principal only, um, because it's not just making an extra payment, but it's telling them that I want every single dollar of this payment to go to the principal, only the principal. And so I made that extra payment of $3,887.95. A lot of you who follow me know that my strategy this year and going forward until I get bored with it is what I basically do is I live my life in that month. I don't necessarily deny myself of anything, so I'm not really going scorch earth mode to paying down this mortgage, meaning that I'm living you know, within a very tight budget and I'm sending all of my extra money to the mortgage. No, what I do now is I do whatever I want to do during the month. Within reason, within reason. Y'all know I'm more of a saver than a spender, so it's not hard for me to do it this way. Um... And then what I do is at the end of the month, what I have left over is what I send to my mortgage. Now, the thing with that is I do have a minimum every month that I like to hit to send to my mortgage, a minimum. Um, and that way it leaves me so that I'm not just out there spinning up everything. It's like, no, hold up. This is my minimum. We're not going below this minimum for this mortgage. But again, all the excess that I don't spend at that month gets to go to my mortgage. And that's what I'm doing right now. So let's look at March this month, this very month that we're living in. What I did in March is I sent my regular mortgage payment of $1,536. Of that, $346 went to interest 
and $1,189 went to the principal. I then sent an extra principal only payment of $4,875. This brings the amount that I owe on this house down to $178,660. I had bought my print my interest down by $36 because in November I paid $383 in interest and now I'm paying $346 in interest. So I bought it down by $36 a month. And it will continue to go down. And I also brought down the overall principal that I owe on this house down to down by $19,419. This is so awesome for me. I cannot wait till I'm under the 150 mark. Oh my goodness. There was a point in time where I thought that I would never see the day where I owed like less than, never mind less than 200. We reached that goal at the end of last year. But the fact that we're actually going to be looking at being under 150 this year and more and more. Again, I'm not going super hard at this goal, but I am moving forward. I am making great progress on this goal and I'm so excited. That's where we are. $178,660 is what I owe on this home. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank y'all for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you are on a mortgage journey, a mortgage free, a mortgage pay off journey yourselves. I know that there are some people who believe that that money is better served in the market. But honestly, I am of the strategy. I am of the mindset that you can do both. You can do both. I am doing both. But again, 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 when I do not have this bill anymore, that is going to be a happy day. That is going to be a happy, happy day. So until the next video, y'all. Peace.